Okay. So, um, a few years ago, Fort Wayne was voted the fifth most boring city in America, and we're not okay with that. And I don't think any of you are either. That's kind of why we're here. So, um, we are hoping you would join us in developing this new and creative way to make Fort Wayne great, great again. So this is our Fort Wayne Amazing Race. And the specifications for this race are each team will consist of four members, ages 14 to 50. And there will be about 50 different teams. And the race will take place in summer of 2018. Our race will begin in Headwaters Park. All 50 teams will be placed here where the race will begin. After they go from Headwaters Park, they will go to Fort Wayne Outfitters. And Fort Wayne Outfitters is somewhere where um, people can like rent bikes, rent boats, kayaks, and stuff. And the mental task is that they will solve a puzzle to, to, to get a combination to a lock, and that lock will unlock a boat that will uh, help them for their physical task, which is go down the river, collect markers, and come back. Once all 50 teams make their way from the Fort Wayne Outfitters, they will then come to the Old Fort, where they have a physical challenge and a mental challenge. The physical, they will, have to they will have to create a warping battle with reenactors who play a game of capture the flag. For mental, they will each have to memorize a beef stew ingredient and present it to an official in order to move to the next detour. Next, the groups will be traveling to the Brands, and the Brands is a chocolate store that originated here in Fort Wayne, and they now have locations in 50 different countries. So for the physical task, the teams are going to be able to study a recipe for their famous raspberry truffles. Then they'll be creating the truffles themselves and having them approved by the manager. For their mental task, they're going to get to taste test 15 different truffles and then match them correctly with their name and description. Next, we will go to the zoo. The Fort Wayne Children's Zoo was founded in 1965. And for the physical test, they will go in the zoo and run around and collect markers from certain habitats. And then they will run back outside and they will match cards to a picture of the animal to the description and like the characteristics of the animal. Alright, the next stop will be Coney Island. And Fort Wayne's Coney Island has been in business for over 100 years and has become almost a tradition around Fort Wayne. So the physical task that they will have there is they will um, eat. 10 Coney dogs as fast as they can, one team member. And then the mental task, they will send one team member into the building to study the appearance of everything and the location of different items. Where they will, And after five minutes, they will then go out back and take a quiz on it. Once you complete your task at, the, at Coney Island, you will then make your way to the Allen County Courthouse. The Allen County Courthouse is one of 37 United States national landmarks in the state of India. For the physical task, Contestants must sit in every chair on the second floor, which is located on the south side of the hotel. For the most task, participants must put together every painting on the wall correctly in order to move on. So the Fort Wayne Escape Room is a fairly new establishment here in Fort Wayne, where you use teamwork and problem solving to escape one of the themed rooms that they have there. So this will be a roadblock, so there will not be a physical or mental task. They will be required to escape the room in under 15. Once you escape the escape room, you will then make your way to the embassy. The embassy is known for all the events that happen there, such as concerts and events. For the physical task, contestants must memorize any play and perform it in front of an audience. For the mental task, you must have, you have you will have 15 minutes to create your own play and then perform the game. For the Grand Wayne Center, all 50 teams will have to run the halls. One member from each team will have to run the halls at the Grand Wayne Center while looking for little bags of Legos. All Legos will be used to replicate and build and the Anthony Wayne statue which is located in Fryman Square. Once they make their way from the Grand Wayne Center, they will all come to the Parkview Field. One member from each team will have to play as the batter up against the starting pitcher of the Fort Wayne team caps. They will have to at least hit three pitches thrown by the starting pitcher. For the mental challenge, the players will have to match the name and numbers to each starting lineup of the Fort Wayne team caps in order to move to the next detail. So next the teams are going to be traveling to Powers. Powers is a restaurant in Fort Wayne that opened in 1940 and they're known for their burgers and onions. 
Um, for the physical task, uh, one team member is going to have to eat 10 sliders in 20 minutes. And for the mental task, they are going to study the menu for a minute, and then they have to choose 10 items off the menu and match them with their correct price. After they complete their tasks at Powers, they will move to Headwaters Park where their next roadblock will begin. The teams will split into half, and two of them will go on Brickhamit bikes and make their way to Fox Island, and the other two will be picked up by the four main helicopter charters. Once they get in the air, the contestants will actually be giving directions to the pilot because there will be markers and directions on top of the buildings. Fox Island is where the race is going to end and the, the winner will receive their prize. So this is a flyer that we designed for the Fort Wayne Amazing Race. <coughs> um, and it says all the team requirements and where they can contact to learn more. Do you have any questions? This one's all one day?